Hey everybody, welcome back. I was trying to think of how to intro this, and I kept thinking of like Monty Python and the Holy Grail when they were like Camelot. Tis a silly place. And that's kind of how I feel about Discord. So you guys recommended this one here, and I went ahead and I did this. And today we're going to open up some proxies on the channel. But we're going to open up some real proxies, not the 30th anniversary proxies. These are substantially cheaper, and I actually don't know anything about this. But it is by a website called MTG Proxy. And I'll put a little bit up here on the screen for you. So essentially, it's you get 16 cards. Um, it's a variety of just some of the best cards in Magic the Gathering in proxy form. And this is a little bit different than, I guess, um, proxy used to be at least when I was a kid and I was playing Magic because you used to just take a card and you would just write just whatever you wanted all over this card and, you know, that was it. it you know, times have changed and... You know, I get that. Um, for a while there, we were taking like a, a piece of white paper and then you'd put it over the front and then you'd have like a little bit of scotch tape and that's how you did your proxies. And then, you know, uh, things have evolved. And yeah, I guess printer quality is good enough now that you can, I guess, essentially um, come out with a good proxy. So I don't know anything about this. I, I mean, I looked into the site. I looked into uh, what some of these cards are and, and how they look. But uh yeah, I've never opened them. I've never even had a real deal, like a legitimate printed proxy. So this is this is kind of a, a fun one and, you know, kind of a big deal at the same time. Now, here's the thing about this. I'm not going to keep these proxies. Um, I, I honestly don't want them. And uh, I, I think this is going to be a little bit of a time to give back to you guys. Because for some of you that are interested in proxies, um, for when you are supporting me on the channel, as I'm sending out your cards and your packages to you, I'm just going to start including some of these randomly inside your packages. So if I pull Power 9 today, you may end up getting one of these Proxy Power 9s in your thing just as a little something extra just to say thank you. So uh, I know it's not a ton, but it is a little something that's out there for you. So I don't know. Let's crack one of these open and uh, let's see what it's all about. All right, we'll go on backside. All right, so right off the bat... Um, first off, this card is already just pre-beaten to hell. Um, but you can tell, like, this is this is a proxy. Like, there is no doubt in my mind that anybody would ever mistake the back of this card, you know, for a real magic card. But, you know, um, it's super high gloss. It's got a little bit of a, a funny feel to it. Uh, very slippery. You know, this almost reminds me of like a Modern Horizons 2 where it's just very, very glossy um, or even to the to the same effect of like um, uh, Commander Legends 2 Battle for Baldur's Gate. You know, some of those draft cards were just incredibly glossy and very dark. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. All right. So, card number one. Uh, you know... It looks okay. I, I guess we're going to have to kind of go through more of these to see what they look like, but it, uh, I don't know. Seems kind of kind of on the blurry side. Okay. Well, we got some Arabian Nights, right? We got Stasis from Unlimited. This looks, see, now this Stasis looks really good. This looks really good. All right. <laughs> Serendip, a freak from Arabian Nights. Wow, this would be a monster pull from like back in the day. Um, like I'd be super stoked to have this card. All right, we got ourselves a jump from Revise. Uh, this is jump from Revise, but this is the Summer Magic version of Jump, and you can tell. I mean, I know it's not the greatest comparison and all, but uh, the darker color that's on here, and then also Summer Magic has the 1994 that's on the bottom. So I don't think I'm going to have room for all these places here. All right, Flash Counter from uh, Legends. In, in the same token here, um, if you see how like Legends on the bottom has the 1994 on there, it's the same thing, basically. All right, Papa Stitcher. So this is a new reprint, and this is actually pretty dark. Um, you can tell that the, uh, the hollow emblem that's on the bottom here is not hollow. Now, I do understand that this website does give, uh, for like, it's like, 
I think it's like four or five bucks and you can get 20 of the holographic emblems on here to put on here. But this one is very clearly not a legitimate card. All right, Training Center. So this is another one. This is from Commander Legends. And this is a actually a pretty decent um, land hit. I've had actually a couple of these pop up when I've opened up Commander Legends. All right, we got a Void Fate from Legends also. All right, and we have Disrupting Scepter. And this is, I don't even know if this would be a beta or an alpha copy. All right, Flooded Strand. And this is going to be from Zendikar. All right, we've got Crypt Ghast. Energy Flux from uh, Antiquities. We have a Trop, Dual Land Trop from Unlimited. And again, this is another one where you can just tell, just looking at it, I mean, you can tell it's just not the highest of high quality. Time Vault, very nice hit. All right, Steel Enchantment, and we have a Triome. Yeah, this actually isn't horrible. This, this isn't like that bad. Um, these aren't fooling anybody. Uh, I can tell you that now. Uh, holding this in my hand, looking at these, uh, seeing the quality that's on them, uh, how the different colors and the saturations are. These are these are not fooling people. But just based on how they're they're doing this back on here, I don't think these are meant to fool people. I think these are just meant for you to incorporate these into, um, you know, into your deck to play with. Um, and if you have a um, Kevin Russell is very nice. Hit. If you have a group that's like super cool and doesn't mind you playing with proxies, I feel like like this this may be like a really good alternative as opposed to something like um, you know the Magic 30th Edition uh, 30th Anniversary. It just is out of a lot of people's price ranges. So again, we have another uh, Summer Magic. Uh, this is a Red Mountain Blast. It's a nice hit. Got Blood Speaker. Kamigawa going way back. Now see, and this is uh, a very converse because this is a black card, and this looks pretty good. Swords to Plowshares from Commander. And a Thought Vessel. I actually have a ton of these Thought Vessels. Not not from this um not from this set, but I do have a ton of Thought Vessels. Paradise Mantle, alright. Could definitely do some nice combos with that. Our cap trap. I have a few of these as well. All right, here we go. We have Balanay, we have a plant beast from Ikoria. We have a scalding tarn. This looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> this does not look good. Um, yeah, I just don't know what else to say about that. It just does not look good. Meltdown from Urza. There's a block. Oh, this lightning bolt. The lighting on here kind of lightens this up a little bit, but in person, this just does not look does not look that great. Uh, Illusionary Mask, um, Phantom Forces, Phantasmal Forces, and Embassage You. Which you know what's funny is I'm working on a Kamigawa a Neon Dynasty set, and I actually needed um, oh cool, I actually needed the Embassage You for. Um, for my set, so I'll actually probably just throw that in there. And then this is pretty awesome, so this is something cool. Uh, this booster is loaded with a surprise, so you get a free proxy coupon. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'll leave it up here, and then somebody can grab that. Just go ahead in the comments down below and just, uh, you know, let me know if you claim that one. So moving forward with this, um, you know, upcoming we have March Against the Machines, and then we have just, you know, a bunch of uh, random boxes that are coming up. And if you, uh, if you partake in any one of those boxes, just know that some of these cards are probably going to end up in there. I'll mark these, like I'll put them in a special sleeve or something, and I'll, I'll mark them out there for you so you, you know, that you know that you're getting prod. Which, again, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but just so you know. Sulfur Falls, Light from Within. We have Scheming Symmetry. We have Silent Clearing. Twin Cast, a North Star from Legends. Unstable Harmonics. A Verdant Catacombs, which this is probably close to passable. Mox Jet, we do have a Power Nine in here. All right, it, like, and this is like the same feeling that I get. Like if I were to open up Magic Thirty right now, I it, it probably wouldn't have done much for me. Um, this is one hundred percent not passable, um, but you know it's just nice to have in there. Blaze of Glory, Clockwork Avian, and that is it so what do i think about this 
honestly, um, I think this is probably good. You get three packs right now. It's three packs for 20, I think it was 25 plus shipping came out to be like $28. And then, um, I think one pack was like eight or nine bucks. So I think overall it's probably a pretty decent value. And for somebody who's just like looking for just like a, I don't know whether it's chaos draft or something like that. Why not? Why not? Give it a shot. I mean, you get a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Add some land. Yeah, I'll figure out a deck with this. Um, these aren't horrible. I mean, again, they're not passable for real cards in the slightest bit, obviously. But, uh, yeah. I think it's a great experience. So, the guys over on Discord, I really appreciate you pointing me in the direction of this one here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it. Uh, if you like it, if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. If you're not subscribed and you want to be, there's a button down below for that. And Discord, if you're not involved with it, come on over. Link in the description down below. We'd love to have you. And there's always crazy, funny ideas like this that pop up. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you all on the next video.